Well, I think the very best news that I can report to you right now is just a short few hours ago, an official from the fire brigades here said the fire is out, which has so damaged this world-class icon. I'm going to ask my cameraman, Martin, to give you a view of what we see of the Notre Dame Cathedral about 300, 400 yards away. I think you can see the figures up on one of the parapets. These are inspectors. They're checking out the structural integrity of the building. And luckily, from the early words that we are getting, that it is intact. The belfries, also the flying buttresses, the main architectural structure, but of course, a very lot was damaged in the past several hours. In fact, the fire went for 15 hours, 400 firefighters involved. There was much damage. As you noted, the iconic spire on the back part of the nave destroyed, much of the roof destroyed, a lot of flames and timbers going into the interior. Much was saved, too, however, priceless artifacts inside, including very important for Christians and Catholics around the world, a, a crown of thorns venerated as perhaps uh, something that was worn by uh, Christ uh, some 2,000 plus years ago. Again, the structural integrity of this place is being looked at because of the firefighters effort. Much was saved, even though, as we noted, much was damaged. After this inspection is done, we're, we're told about 48 hours, there will be an intense investigation of the cause of this fire. Officials are now ruling out pretty much arson or, of course, terrorism. They are thinking it is related to renovation work that was done around the spire, but we've just learned that all the renovation had stopped uh, maybe an hour or two before this fire went up. So again, there will be an intense investigation about for uh, 50 uh, uh, people. Uh, again, what we're seeing here very quickly, an outpouring of emotion, sadness, like a death in the family. I've lived in Paris for nine years in the past, and I've rarely seen anything like that. Sadness, but hope for the future, that this thing can be rebuilt, as French President Macron has said.